Good morning, everybody. Sorry about that. I am Coach Ray. Thank you for joining me for today's stick mobility class. I am in my home today because Dennis is teaching the live, uh, level one stick mobility this weekend. So for today's class, we are going to need one stick, one long stick here today, okay? So we are going to get into some single leg squat type of drills. We're going to do something called like a skater squat, which is pretty dang challenging, but I think you guys will enjoy it a little bit here. We're also going to get into a little bit of hip drills in terms of working with some internal external rotation using a stick as a way to generate some isometric tension. Okay. And we are going to do a core drill. All right. So we're going to get into some fun stuff today. So what are we going to do here? We're going to take the long stick. Okay. We're going to start at the feet and ankles first. And so what I want to do here is I'm actually going to turn to the side and we're going to work on uh, feet and ankles. So I want to take a horse stance here. Okay. And I want to have the stick directly in line with my midline here. Okay. And so what I want to do, I want to get into the horse stance, make sure I'm gripping around with my feet, feet wider than shoulder width. I'm going to grab the stick at roughly about shoulder to sternum height. Okay. Now what I'm going to do from here, pick up the bottom of the stick, angle it in towards me just a little bit here. And we're going to teeter totter back and forth. We're going to go one foot at a time here. So make sure your spine is up tall, pelvis is stacked under the spine, slight pelvic tilt. I'm gonna bring that left heel up first, and I wanna make sure that as I'm doing this, that all five toes are in contact with the floor here. Now I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna bring my left heel down, right heel comes up, and I wanna bring that left heel flat to the floor. Good, switch, left heel up, right heel down. Good. Switch, left heel up, or sorry, right heel up, left heel down. Good, switch, left heel up, right heel down. Good, let's go a couple more. Switch, right heel up, left drops. Good, left heel up, right heel drops. Okay, one last time, right heel up, Left heel drops, okay? Bring that right heel down slow, under control, and good. So now I'm gonna face forward here. So, now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna work with some of that lateral shifting, okay? And so, I'm gonna have my the stick in the same position. I wanna stick, again, make sure my spine is up tall, okay? And I'm gonna switch my hand, so my right hand was on top. I'm gonna switch to my left hand being on top here. And so now what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to get back into that horse stance. I'm going to bring that right heel up, and I'm going to laterally shift my ankle. So remember, the movement's at the ankle, not at the knee. So I'm going to shift my ankle inwards, okay, or my heel inwards towards my midline. Then I'm going to shift it outwards. Okay. And you should be on that big toe here. Then out. Good. And. You want to try to make sure that knee's not moving here. Okay. Out. In. Good. And out. Excellent. Back to center and down. Let's switch sides. Same thing. Bring that left heel up. Okay. Shift that heel in. Good. Then out. In. And out. Breathe in. And out. One more time. In. And out. Back to center. And down. Excellent. So now we're going to get into some pelvic tilt. So we're going to start with posterior anterior. So again, I'll go a little bit from the side here so I can get a side preview. So we're going to assume that same stance, feet are about roughly shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider here, okay? Make sure you're gripping the ground with your feet, keep those feet active as you possibly can, okay? Switch hands again, bottom of the stick is angled in towards you, okay? So from here, staying up tall, I want to keep my rib cage down to my hips, so I want to keep that alignment here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a posterior tilt, so I'm going to tuck my pelvis in like so and squeeze my glutes while driving the stick down. So, arms straight. So what I'm gonna do from here 
is I'm gonna drive that stick down 20% and I'm gonna tuck my pelvis in or do a posterior tilt, squeeze those glutes. And I want you to think about driving those knees out slightly. Okay, so abducting those hips, <sighs> breathe. Now I'm gonna ease off some of that tension on the stick and I'm gonna do an anterior tilt. So I'm gonna tilt my pelvis the opposite way here. Okay, good. I'm gonna do a posterior tilt, drive that stick down a little bit harder, feel that tension in the core. Okay, all those anterior tissues here. Good, anterior tilt, ease off some of that tension. Make sure you breathe. Good, posterior tilt. Good, squeeze those glutes, make sure those glutes are active here, okay? Anterior tilt. Feel those lower back tissues tighten, okay? One more time, posterior tilt. Breathe, anterior tilt. Excellent, and ease off. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some of the lateral shifting here, okay? So, same stance, both feet are facing forward here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna do that same thing, okay? So, hands stacked, stay up tall, Rib cage down to the hips, okay? Slight posterior pelvic tilt. Now I'm gonna bump my hip up to the right. Good, left hip is going to drop down towards the floor, okay? Lightly pushing that stick to the ground, 15%. Now I'm gonna bump my hips to the left. Good. Now right. Left. Excellent. Right. Make sure our right glute's active. Left. Left glute should be active here. Right. Left. One more each side. Right. Good, and left. Back to center. Now we're gonna go with pelvic circles, okay? so. 12, 9, 6, 3. We're going to do three repetitions each direction. We're going to start off counterclockwise. So we're going to start at 12. So posterior tilt, squeeze those glutes. Then we're going to sh shift the hips out to 9. Good. 6, 3, and 12. Again, 9, 6, 3, 12. One more time, nine, six, three, and 12. Good, switch directions. So three, six, nine, 12. Good, two more, three, six, nine, 12. Excellent, last one, three, six, Nine, 12, excellent, and relax, good. Okay, so now we're gonna work on mobilizing that spine here. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna take the long stick here, I'm gonna step back, hopefully I'm still in good view. So what I'm gonna do here, place the stick on top of my shoulders, or right, right about where the meaty part of the traps are, okay, whatever's most comfortable for you. And so what I'm going to do here, this is going to start to get a little weird as we go along here. So bear with me. So what we're going to first start off with, we're going to first start off with some lateral tilting, lateral tilts of the, pelt, of the spine. Okay. Now, as we do this, you want to make sure you lock your lumbar uh, spine in and squeeze those glutes. So take that horse stance, stay up tall, squeeze the glutes. Okay. Make sure those glutes are tight. Right. We just want to lock everything in. And now I'm going to do them and do a lateral tilt. So. I'm gonna drive the stick down with my right hand, my left, so the left side comes up. Good, come back to center, now we're gonna do the opposite side. Drive down with that left hand, let that spine laterally tilt here. Come back to center, good, push down with that right. Feel the spine open up a bit, 
Now we're gonna go back to the other side, drive that left hand down. Good, one more time each way, drive that right hand down. Good, now to the left, drive that left hand down. Back to center, excellent. So now we're gonna go with some rotations here, okay? Stick is still in the same position, okay? Now what I'm gonna do from here, I'm still gonna do that same thing. I wanna squeeze my glutes, make sure my pelvis is locked in. I want my pelvis to stay forward the entire time. So what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna start off by rotating. So I wanna have my hands on the back of the stick here. Okay, I wanna have it across my upper back. And now what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna rotate to the left, driving that right hand forward. Now I'm gonna rotate the opposite way. Rotate to the right, drive that left hand forward. If you're having problems, keeping your pelvis stick facing forward, drive your opposite hip towards the hand that's uh, forward. You're gonna rotate to the left. I'm gonna drive my left hip towards my right hand. Now I'm gonna rotate to the right, drive my right hip towards my left hand. Good, one more time each way. Rotate to the left, drive my left hip towards my right hand. Breathe, rotate to the right, drive my right hip towards my left hand. Good, back to center, excellent. So, now we're gonna do here, we're gonna get into some lateral shifting. So, this one's gonna be a little tough um, in terms of trying to segment, but what I want you to think about doing here is we're going to try to drive the stick over without the hips actually moving, right? So, back into that core stance again. I wanna keep those glutes tight, stay up tall. Hands are on top of the stick here, okay? Now what I wanna do from here, this is a really small movement. But we're just trying to get a little bit of movement in the spine here with some lateral forces. So, from here, stay up tall. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my upper body or my shoulders to the right, or drive my rib cage. Think about driving your rib cage to the right, but pelvis stays exactly where it's at. Now I'm gonna to come to the other side. I'm gonna drive the stick to the left or my rib cage to the left here. I wanna keep the stick even, right? Good, left. It's gonna feel a little weird, a little weird on the spine, okay? Keep the movement small and controlled, go right. Just trying to get a little bit of different feedback. Left. Let's go one more time each way. Right. And left. Back to center. And good. And so now what we're going to do here, we're going to get into working with a little bit of split stance rotation here. Okay. So. I'm gonna have the stick across the front of my body here, okay? And I wanna take a split stance. And so what I wanna do from here is, I hope this rug doesn't slip. <laughs> I wanna have my left knee stacked over my left foot, so my left foot is forward, right foot is back, okay? I'm gonna ball and toes on my back foot, and I actually wanna squeeze this right glute, okay? What I'm gonna do from here, I wanna keep my thumbs facing the ends of the stick, I'm going to hinge forward here, and I'm gonna to rotate towards my front leg, and I wanna to try to get the right end of the stick on the floor, and I'm gonna pull apart, get some of that posterior chain activation, keep that right glute squeeze, ease off, come back to neutral. I'm gonna rotate the opposite way. I'm gonna to rotate towards my right, pull apart, good. Ease off, come back to neutral, rotate to the left again, place that right and stick down, pull apart, good, ease off, come back to center, rotate to the left, pull apart, good, ease off, back to center, and up. Let's go ahead and switch sides here, okay? 
We're gonna do that same thing, okay? See if I can get the appropriate position. Right. Right foot forward, make sure that knee is stacked over that right ankle, okay? I'm gonna hinge forward a bit. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to rotate towards my right. Place that left end of the stick down. Pull apart. Good, ease off, back to center. Rotate to the left. Pull apart. Ease off, back to center. Rotate to the right. Ooh, ease up, uh, pull apart. Ease off, back to center. Rotate to the left. Pull apart. Ease off, back to center, and up. Excellent, good. So, that's a warm-up, so we are gonna get into some refiner stuff. So, what you to be careful here, if you need to, right, as we go through these drills, there are ways to regress it, okay? If you are more comfortable with the skater spot of just doing more of a Bulgarian substitute, I would suggest doing that. It is a very, very challenging drill. Um, you do not have to lift a stick, have to go through the progressions, okay? If you're not comfortable with it. But, just wanna make it a little fun, a little difficult. We're gonna incorporate some balance and some strength. We are gonna be holding that bottom position for a little while too, okay? So, let's be cautious of that. All right, so, we're gonna get into the first row, okay, which is gonna be that skater squat. So, with this, I'm not too focused on how straight your back is. What I wanna make sure is that you're keeping the ankle, knee, and hip as stable as possible here. So, as we go into this, only go as low as you comfortably can, okay? So, I'm gonna have the stick in my left hand. I'm gonna start with my right foot, okay? I wanna keep my right foot planted on the floor, okay? The stick, is in like about three to six inches in front of the line of my toes on my right foot here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do from here, see over here a little bit more, is my left leg is gonna be, foot is gonna be hovering off the floor here, okay? So remember, grab the ground with that right foot, keep an active foot here. Now, left hand is on the stick. What I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna start to bend this knee, and I wanna try to keep this knee in line with my midfoot here, and I'm gonna slowly lower myself. Once I get to a good challenging position, I'm gonna hold this position. And I wanna try to stay balanced as possible, <sighs> keeping that stability. You're gonna feel that glute working, you're gonna feel that quad working, you're gonna feel that ankle working a bit here. <sighs> hold. <sighs> and three, two, one, push back up. <sighs> and relax, good. So we're not really pushing down on the stick. We're using it as a point of balance. So we're gonna go again. This time we're gonna lift the stick, all right? Try to make it a little bit more challenging. So same thing, grab the ground with the right foot, make sure it's an active foot here, okay? Hover that back foot off the floor, left foot off the floor. Go slowly lower yourself, get down to that position where it's a good challenge, okay? Hold that position, lift the stick, hold, Hold, three, two, one, put the stick back down, push back up, and relax. We're gonna do two more repetitions. So it's almost like doing a single leg squat, right? Or actually it is. But we're trying to hold that bottom position, create that stability, get good there. So same thing, okay? Left foot off the ground, grab that ground with the right foot, stay active, wanna slowly lower, Okay, get down, make sure you're in a good stable position, lift the stick, hold, three, two, one, good, place the stick back down, back up, and relax one more time, okay. So if you're, if you're having any pain or discomfort here, reduce the range of motion or don't lift the stick off the floor, okay. All right, one last time, grip the ground, foot off, hovering off the floor, slowly lower yourself down. 
Good. Once you get to a good position, hover. Hold. In three, two, one, back up. And switch. Okay. Okay, so this is a good one if you're really trying to work on challenging that stability. Now we can ordinarily do this with two sticks, but we're doing this with one stick today, okay? So we're gonna do that same thing. Again, active foot with the left foot here, okay? Sticks in the right hand. I'm gonna hover that right foot off the floor here, okay? Slowly lower yourself. Good. Get to that challenging position. Hold. Hold. Three, two, one. Back up. And relax. Good. We've got three more repetitions here. Doing good, guys. Doing good. Let's do it. All right. Same thing. Back to foot. With the left, bring that right leg up, hover it, okay? We're gonna go down to that squat position. Good, once you find a good challenge, lift the stick. Hold, three, two, one. Put the stick down, press up, good. We got two more repetitions here. Doing good, doing good. Okay. We got the active foot, hover that right leg, okay? Start to get into that squat. Hold, left. Three, two, one. They stick down, back up, and relax. Excellent. One more time. And remember, you're trying to keep your entire foot pressing to the floor here, right? You shouldn't be on the ball of your feet. You shouldn't be just pushing through the heel. Your entire foot here, okay? Full contact. All right, last one. Over that right foot. Then pinch back down. Get to that squat. Over the stick. Three, two, one, back up, and relax. Good, okay, nice little challenge there, okay? Like working on those single leg things, the unilateral training. So now we're gonna do here is we're gonna work with a little bit of internal external rotation. We are gonna go to the floor for this, okay? We're gonna use the stick as a way to generate hip flexor tension. So we're gonna use this isometric, Gonna be in a hip flexor position. We're gonna work on rotating the hip here. So we're gonna go to the floor. What I'll do is I'll actually go here. Okay. So I want to keep. I want. So I'm gonna start with my right hip first. I want to keep my left leg straight. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do from here, I want to bring my hip. My knee up towards at 90 degrees. Okay, I want to keep it, basically keep my knee stacked right over my hip. So, what we do from here, I'm going to use my arms as a way to create that isometric. So, I'm going to drive that knee up into the stick here. Ankles dorsiflex, left leg is straight. I'm going to internally rotate my hip. Then, I'm going to externally rotate my hip. Drive up with 50% tension. Okay, internally rotate, hold, good, back to neutral, externally rotate, good, back to neutral, internally rotate, back to neutral, externally rotate, back to neutral, one more time, internal rotation, Good, external rotation. Back to center and relax, knees off. Good, now we're gonna switch over to the other side. 
Okay, same thing. Keep that right leg straight, okay? You wanna keep it flat to the floor to the best that you can. Left leg, left knee comes to meet the stick, okay? From here, left ankle dorsiflex, drive that leg into the stick, 50%. Internally rotate. Externally rotate. Back to neutral. Internal. Back to neutral. Externally rotate. Back to neutral, internal rotation. Back to neutral, externally rotate. Back to neutral, one last time, internal rotation. Back to neutral, externally rotate. Back to center, and down. Excellent, good. Now we're gonna do here, we're gonna get into a core drill. We're gonna move up this way. So, so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna have the stick on the same side of, um, so if my stick's in the right hand, I'm gonna have the bottom of the stick in the top of my right foot here, okay? So, what I wanna do here, I just wanna create some tension, okay? So driving that stick down into the top of the foot here. So I'm actually gonna grip the stick at the top. So I'm above my head here. And so what I wanna do from here is I'm actually gonna have this left foot um, planted on the floor. Okay, I wanna keep it there. Left hand is on the floor as well, okay? I can create a little bit of tension on that side. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna control that rib cage. So I'm gonna bring that rib cage down, okay? And I'm gonna drive the stick into the top of my right foot. And I'm gonna lift that foot. So driving that tension, 60, 70%. Hold. Back down. And ease off. Good, okay. We're gonna do two more repetitions here. Okay, let's go, let's go 70%. All right, so right leg straight, ankle dorsiflex, rib cage down, drive that stick into the top of the foot, lift, hold, three, two, one, back down slow. Excellent, knees off. Let's go one more time, then we'll switch sides, okay? Arms straight, okay? Ribs down, ankle dorsiflex, push, 80%. Lift the leg up. Three, two, one, back down, and ease off. Excellent, let's go ahead and switch sides here, okay? I'm on the left side, okay? Left hand is up, the top of the stick. Right leg is down, okay? Same thing. First one starts at 67% tension, dirt flex the ankle, push. Good, lift that leg up. Keep that rib cage down, okay? Three, two, one, back down, slow, and ease off. Excellent, let's do two more repetitions here, okay? Arms straight, shoulder down, keep the ribs down, ankle dorsiflex, push, 80%. Lift that leg up. Three, two, one, back down. Good, ease off. Let's go one more repetition here, okay? All right, arms straight, shoulder down, ribs down, okay? Push, 80%. Lift our left leg. Three, two, one. Bring it back down slow. And ease off. Excellent. 
So, now we're going to get into deep fascial stretching. So, with this, I do want to get into a little bit of a different variation of bow and arrows today, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So, we're working on some of those anterior tissues here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get into a hip flexor stretch and we're going to add in some rotation there. Okay? So, what we're going to do here, I'm going to start with my right knee down. Okay, if you have a pillow or something for you to kneel on, it'd be perfect for you to use right now. So, so for with this, I want to have the stick on the outside of my right hip here. Okay, I want to have my back foot flat to the floor. Now, what's going to be a little bit different about this is that actually we're going to work into that hip flexor stretch and we're going to rotate towards that back leg, okay? So, we're gonna have my right hand up. <clears throat> um, not reaching up as high as you can. So I'm gonna reach up relatively far, okay? First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna activate. I'm gonna drive that back foot down, squeeze that right glute. You should already feel some of those hip flexor tissues opening up. I'm gonna shift my hips forward a bit. Good. I'm gonna place my left hand on the stick and I'm going to rotate towards the right. Good. Going to come back to center and slowly come off. Good. Now what's gonna be a little different here is on the second one when we rotate, we're only gonna rotate directly to three o'clock and we're gonna generate tension by pushing the stick that direction, okay? So, hands in the same position. Draw that back foot down, squeeze that right glute, lock those hips in extension, shift the hips forward a bit, feel those tissues open up a bit here. I'm gonna rotate to my right. Once I get to three o'clock, drive the stick down with the right hand. Push with the left, extend. Three, two, one, pull back in, come forward, and slowly come out. Switch sides here. Okay, six on the left side of the body. Now the bottom six is also in line with the mid thigh of the front leg. I should have said that one the first time. <laughs> so, hand is up top, okay? What we're gonna do from here, same thing. Drive that back foot into the floor, squeeze the left glute. We're gonna shift my hips forward a bit. Good, place my right hand on the stick and I'm gonna rotate back. Three, two, one, come back forward. Slowly ease off. Excellent, let's go one more time. Same thing, get to three, get to nine o'clock and push. Create some of that tension, okay? So, same thing. Drive that back foot down, squeeze that left glute. Okay, shift the hips forward. Right hand is on a stick. Okay, I'm gonna rotate to the left a bit. Good, I'm gonna drive that right hand out. And three, two, one, ease off, back forward, and slowly come out. Good. So now we're gonna do here, we're gonna get into a little bit of ninja flow, okay? Don't try to be spiritually aware, aware here, people. <laughs> so bear with me. So. Take a stance as wide as what has whatever's comfortable for you. Okay? So, I want to have my feet angled out. Okay, just a bit. Not a whole lot. And so what I want to do from here is I'm going to have the stick across my chest, right under my chest here. Okay? And so what I'm going to do from here, first thing is I'm going to hinge. I want to drive my hips back into a little bit of a hinge, okay? Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the right end of the stick, I'm gonna rotate it to the inside of my left, uh, of the ball of my left foot here, okay? And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the stick apart 10 to 15%, now I'm gonna lunge to my right, 
really pushing off that left leg. Get a lot of rotation here. Breathe, come back up. Keep the stick there. We're gonna do four more. Keep pulling apart. Lunge. Come back up. Three more. Lunge. Breathe. Back up. Two more. Lunge. Drive those hips back. Back up. One last time here. Pull apart. Lunge. Three, two, one. Back to center. He's off pulling apart. Rotate back. Now we're going to do the opposite side. Rotate the left end of the stick down towards the inside of the right leg, right foot. And I'm going to pull apart and lunge to the left. Back up. Keep pulling apart. Lunge to the left. Good. Back up. Lunge to the left. Gonna drive off that right leg. Push. Back up. Let's go two more. Lunge to the left. Keep pulling apart. Back up. One more time. Lunge to the left. Control your breathing. Three, two, one. Back up. Good. Come back to center. Let's wiggle those feet in. Okay. So, we're going to get into a little bit of a different version of bow and arrow. So, typically, we do the bow and arrow from a lateral, um, going laterally. So, typically, that front of the plane. So, what we're going to have you do here, it's actually going to be more behind. So, you're going to get a pretty big stretch in a lot of the anterior tissues. So, the setup for this is going to be a little tricky. So if you don't feel that you can get to that position and maintain it, you can just do a, you can do a sub this for a regular bow and arrow here, okay? Don't be afraid to do that. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have a foot forward position, okay? Now typically we go with roughly about hip width, go out a little bit wider, just to be a little more comfortable here. And I'll go from the side a little bit so you can kind of see me. I'm gonna start with the, with the stick on my left side. Now typically, Six and midfoot directly out to the side. However, we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to rotate my torso to the left and I'm going to place the stick behind my heel, roughly about six inches, eight inches, right? Whatever's most comfortable for you. You can have it out further if you'd like, okay? So the mechanics are still the same. So I'm going to take my right hand, place it up over the top, thumb facing down. Now, I'm in a twisted position here, but what I'm going to do, my left hand is down more towards my glute area. What I'm going to do from here, I'm going to push my hips out forward. Then I'm going to extend both hands behind. Three, two, one. Come back in slowly. Good. That's how we do it. We're going to go a couple more here, okay? So again, if you're more comfortable, just go with the regular bow and arrow. So, right hand is up top, thumb facing down towards the floor. Drive the hips away from the stick. Extend both hands out. Breathe. You're probably going to feel stretch in the lower abdomen, a little bit of the hip, right? A little bit of the ribs. Come back up slowly. Excellent. One more time. Okay, rotate that stick a bit. Extend those hips out away from the stick. Drive both hands out. Straighten both arms. Three, two, one. Come out slowly. Excellent. Now we're going to switch sides. So if you're getting any back discomfort, any back pain, do not do that. Okay? So we're going to go for that same thing on the other side. Okay? Feel a little wider, roughly about shoulder width apart, okay? Rotate my spine to the right, place a stick behind me, okay? Right hand is right by my glute area. 
I'm gonna take my left hand up over top, thumb facing down towards the floor. I'm gonna go through those same progressions. I'm going to drive my hips out and away from the stick. And I'm gonna drive, stick back, straighten out both arms. Three, two, one, come back. Excellent. We're gonna do two more here. Okay, same thing. Drive the hips away. Drive those hands back. Hold. Three, two, one. Back in, nice and slow. Excellent, we're gonna go one more time here. Okay, last one. Extend those hips away from the stick. Drive both hands out. Breathe. Three, two, one. Back in. Ease off and relax. And that concludes today's stick mobility class. Thank you for joining me this Saturday. Hope you guys had a good class. Wanted to introduce a couple of new things. Hope you guys have a good Saturday. Stay safe out there. Enjoy your weekend. Catch you on the next one.